me, it's about reconnecting with the earth, being with animals, experiencing weather and the life that our ancestors had, and then experiencing those hardships so you can appreciate your life that you have now. I'm a mechanical engineer. I work at a popular tech company on augmented reality devices and wearables. So I design components mechanically inside those devices. Uh, I also do overlanding and off-roading as a part-time hobby and do some other small-time mechanics such as 3D printing, prototyping, welding, fabricating, things like that. I got into overlanding over just a few years ago. It was kind of like a mix of my military career. We did a lot of hiking, rucking, you know, just basic by foot overlanding through the woods here in the Northwest. Uh, that started into more of like taking Humvees out and six pack trucks. And I decided I want to do that more myself. So, you know, I got tired of sleeping on the ground. got tired of walking everywhere uh, just because I wanted to travel hundreds of miles and it was taking me you know, a few days to do 10. And so it just kind of evolved into like, okay, I want to get off the ground. I'm tired of animals messing with me on the ground. I'm tired of lugging gear. I'm getting older. Let's just drive where we're going to go. Yeah, so overlanding is basically going over large stretches of land with just your vehicle. And you're not traversing on roads. You're traversing off-road, typically on unbeaten paths, maybe something that's very lightly used. Uh, you'll take campsites that are something that you would normally find. So if they're not pre-made, you're making your own campsite and you're just kind of exploring and finding your way through the wilderness. Uh, a lot of times you don't have anything but whatever amenities you take with you. And so one of the great things about overlanding is you get to be alone with whatever you brought out there with you. So you find out real quick what you have and what you don't have. So weight becomes an issue because you don't want a super heavy truck. They get stuck easier. You want something lighter, more capable, more nimble. And then gear is a big factor because you need something that, no matter what kind of gear you have, you need something that's going to help you because you're by yourself typically. And one of those things that really comes in handy is things that have more than one purpose. So if you can eliminate some gear, drive down your weight, save space, you know, even in a full-size truck, you end up running out of room. You know, you have a spare tire in the bed, you've got your big cooler, you've got your stove. If you're like us, you have a big German Shepherd in there uh, and you run out of space quick. So it's better to have something that takes up less space and provides multiple uses. For anyone who is actually into overlanding, and wants their gear to last. Because I can't tell you how annoying it is to break something when I'm 300 miles from a hardware store and that, that was the only one I had. It's going to last. It's gonna, it's gonna take care of you and you're gonna take care of it. So it's, it's one of those things you buy once and you forget about it. You know, I'm not gonna buy another ax after this. You know, I'm looking for better tools all the time and something that really saves space, that gives you all the tools that you want but doesn't take up an entire bin by itself. That's what I really need.